And he kept fighting. Never once, you know, seemed to be where he was giving up. Now we want to show you some startling footage. Footage that shows that history repeats itself and that the 10 count isn't what any of us thought it was. And until now, had no reason to question. September 22nd, 1927, Soldier Field, Chicago. The rematch of the champion Gene Tunney and Jack Dempsey, a part of the mythology of boxing. Because Dempsey had hovered over decked opponents throughout his career, a new rule was in force. When a fighter was knocked down, the count would begin only when the other fighter goes to a neutral corner. Dempsey dropped Tunney in the seventh round, but forgot the new rule. So the referee properly picked up the count late. Tunney barely got up at nine. Looking closely at the controversy, Dempsey surely put Tunney down with a vicious combination. By failing to go to the neutral corner, the clock shows that the referee's count begins at five seconds. The crucial sidelight to this controversy is that at the count of four, Tunney is clearly looking at the referee, ready to continue. Nine seconds of real time had elapsed on the clock. The clear-headed Tunney could have gotten up and gone on. He went on to win the decision. But for a long time, people believed that but for Dempsey's goof, he would have recaptured the title. What about that uh, Gene Tunney long count without the end? Well, I hope so, because that was one of the greatest breaks I ever got. And the reason I say that, a lot of my friends who saw the fight still think I won it. As long as I can make them still think that, I say I'm a pretty lucky guy because Gene's a pretty small fellow. Under the scrutiny of today's technology and media, the myth would have been dispelled much earlier. 63 years after that celebrated incident, Tunney's stare at the referee was duplicated by Buster Douglas. The rule, when a contestant is knocked down, the referee shall audibly announce the count as he motions with his right arm downward, indicating the end of each second of the count. If the contestant taking the count is still down when the referee calls the count of 10, the referee will wave both arms, indicating that the contestant has been knocked out. The letter of the rule present a paradox between the count of the referee and the count of some imaginary timepiece that neither he nor the timekeeper uses in the heat of battle. The 14 second knockout is commonplace. So Octavio Mehron was doing in Tokyo just what comes naturally to all referees. All right, we've examined the fight from every angle but a canvas cam.